mere blocks from the Los Angeles Transit Authority, members of the Bus Riders Union are staging a hunger strike. They're protesting a 20% increase in bus fare. Um, well, for the last week or so, we set up an encampment um, here across the street from the MTA to basically um, sh show the MTA the conditions that they're setting for our people with this fare increase. A lot of times what we hear is that, you know, it's only $13 or it's only an extra 25 cents, but what they're not realizing is that this is, you know, um, you know, an extra thirteen dollars on, on top of the rising cost of rent, on top of the rising cost of tuition, on top of the rising cost of food, on top of the rising cost of everything. And quite frankly, our people can't afford it, and they're going to be forcing um, our people to make very hard decisions about, you know, whether or not we have to eat during the day or whether or not we have to, you know, pay for our bus passes. And so we're basically out here sending them a message. Earlier in the day, they marched on City Hall with their demands, creatively illustrating the rate hike's impact on working poor and students. We had a small demonstration where we went around to a few uh, city council members' offices and uh, county supervisors' offices, and we delivered a bag of food and just showing them exactly what they were taking out of the mouth of bus riders. This is what you're taking from us, you know, when you're saying that, oh, it's only $13, oh, it's only an extra 25 cents, that money means something to us. It's not just, you know, for people who make $150 plus thousand dollars a year, it is only $13, but for folks who are making, uh, you know, $12,000 or, yes, or less a year, which the average bus rider does, that's a lot of money and that's a lot of food. What makes the MTA's decision so controversial? While citing budget cuts, the agency is in fact diverting funds to light rail construction while cutting bus services. This disproportionately affects low-income riders, especially minorities, which make up a majority of MTA's bus ridership. Another activist gives a brief outline on the history and significant impact that the BRU has had on Los Angeles transit life. Um, the Bus Riders Union has been around since 1994, um, actually even before the 1992. Um, the BRU basically um, is one of the largest civil rights and environmental justice groups in the United States. Um, we actually brought a lawsuit under this uh, 1964 Title VI Civil Rights Act and actually sued the MTA for discriminatory transit practices and um, we were able to win over $2.7 billion in transit improvements through that lawsuit and our political fight to get equity into transit issues in, inside Los Angeles. We also were able to maintain fares really low for nine years uh, for bus riders who are overwhelmingly poor in Los Angeles. <laughs> To learn more about how you can help the working poor who rely on buses in Los Angeles, visit. <laughs> Que nadie sabe que...